Schnitt. Hello, so you're all ready to go out on the town, sweaty? 6.29 p.m. on March 6th, 2023 in Sally's Purgatory now. Yes. Wait, what? Today's the 7th? Today's the 6th. Today, this is today. That's yesterday. Hold on. That's me. That's right, Danny. Of course I remember. I could never forget you. Alright, I need to get things ready for you, though. I thought it was the gate. I'm confused. Thank you for waiting. I hope you enjoy your time in Purgator. Same. My dear, I miss you terribly and sometimes wish you'd move back home, but I know it would be a bad idea. For one thing, do you even remember where we live? We're in the book. A regal vanity. Oh boy. Uh. Hey, it's Danny. Were you crashed out all day or what, Feetfart? Yeah. Well, each person has their own lifestyle, I suppose. Some are better than others, Feetfart. So then, Feetfart, why are you here? The spring's almost here. Plants are beginning to grow and bugs are gonna start coming out of the ground. I bet everyone's been waiting for spring, huh? Let's see here now. You're no no, don't say Danny, right? Man, if you're heading out at this time of night, you must have overslept something fierce, Mamma Mia. So what do you need, Mamma Mia? Oh Danny, your rooftop was getting dirty, so I painted it for you, Mamma Mia. So you're trying to remember what color I used. Remember now, I painted it red. Can't believe I almost forgot, Mamma Mia. I think a color really suits your temperament best. <clears throat> Red, because I'm always angry. I'm so furious constantly. I'm never happy. I'm always so mad. There's nothing that can quench my my horrible anger. So you're one of those uh, nocturnal folk, aren't you? A creature of the night. Oh, and I was young. What am I saying? No, no, no. I'm not an old lady yet. I've still got some cakes left in me, Chuckle Nut. Ow, my bad. Hey, did he want something or what, Chuckle Nut? <clears throat> hey, have you figured out how to use all of your stuff, Chuckle Nut? Yeah. Really, there's nothing to worry about, Chuckle Nut. <clears throat> Thanks. Hello. Ow. This isn't good. I missed. Ah, uh, good evening. You must have had a long day today, <clears throat> lovey. Yeah. Excuse me? Just getting started, lovey? Good gracious. Enough that old chit-chat. Did you need something from me, lovey? wonder what Danny's up to lately. I haven't received any news in a week, lovey. Oh, you seem to have suddenly perked up. So now all of a sudden I have your interest? What did you think you were my only friend? Hardly. I know everyone, but don't expect me to dish any juicy details, lovey. You need to vote me busy nosy busy nosy busy body. Hey, how's the evening working out for you, Danny? I didn't see you at all during the day, did I? You busy pizza time? Good to hear, busy is good. It's no fun having nothing to do pizza time. Tell me, Danny, what's new pizza time? I didn't want to be the one to tell you this, but if you leave the village for too long, this place gets totally overrun with weeds. It makes the whole village look real shabby, pizza time. Can't spend all day picking weeds all by myself, so just make sure you come back to Purgatory regularly, Danny. Okay, I can do that. I'll be here once in a while. Obviously, I won't be here every day, because why would, that would be insane. That would be crazy for me to have to visit every single day. That would be cr cr crazy. Wow. You better not get back here, Bertha. Or Bessie. That's you. Good evening. It's gotten pitch dark outside, hasn't it? It's kind of strange, but I find it hard to sense the flow of time while I'm indoors, Buttercup. So, what can I do for you, Buttercup? The weather outside doesn't matter much at night because I'm usually indoors, Buttercup. Okay. Mm. What a heifer. Hello. Howdy, good evening to you, Winga. Hey, listen, a thought just occurred to me. It's important to use your head now and again, Winga. So I'm doomed, I guess, Winga. Tell me, Danny, what's new, Winga? 
wonder what Danny is up to these days. Kind of bums me out to admit this, but I haven't spoken to Danny all that much lately. It's not like I've gotten any letters either, so it's hard to guess what Danny's getting into lately. Well, whatever, I'm pretty sure Danny's doing okay, Winga. At least I hope so. Danny sure is dead. Mm-hmm. Hello. Danny, well, what a pleasant evening, hmm, Wet Noodle? I don't mind telling you, when night falls, I suddenly feel a desperate need to see people, Wet Noodle. Enough idle chit-chat, did you need something from me, Wet Noodle? Hmm, well, this is awkward, so Danny, shall I tell you some of my dieting tips, Wet Noodle? Yeah. Yes, you look like you could stand to lose a few pounds, Wet Noodle. I'm oh, sorry, that probably sounded pretty harsh. Still, if you asked me the same question, I've said yeah to you, Wet Noodle. So since you wanted to know, I'll give you my secret tip, Danny. Never, ever, ever get eat bean burritos after nine at night unless you want to get fat. So I'll tell you what, let's just keep this between the two of us and try hard not to eat late, Wet Noodle. I don't eat wet- I don't- I don't- I don't eat bean burritos after 9 o'clock because if I'm- if it's after 9 o'clock, then the farts are gonna be happening while I'm sleeping. And I already have a tough time trusting my farts as it is, so... If I can't even control the force of them, then how am I supposed to know that it's just gonna be a fart? If I'm sleeping, and I have no control over what comes out of my butthole, then how am I supposed to assume I'm not going to poop in my pants. I can't, it's hard to tell the difference sometimes. And if I'm unconscious, then it's just going to be impossible. Ah, good evening. You must have had a long day today, Sugar Pie. Excuse me, you're just getting started, Sugar Pie? Good gracious. Enough idle chit-chat. Did you need something from me, Sugar Pie? Say, didn't you owe Tom Nook a fairly large sum of money? I was just wondering, did you ever manage to pay him back? Yeah. You did, that's delightful. I guess you do have some good quality, Sugar Pie. I always thought you were some freak mental case because you run around town all the time, Sugar Pie. Hmm. I think I am. Hey, watch it, Speedy. If I didn't have like lightning quick reflexes, I would have wailed into you. Say, huh? Craziness. Why, it's Danny. Be more careful from now on, okay, Beefsteak? Hey, did you want something or what, Beefsteak? Amazing Gracie, world-class designer, artist, model, and fashion goddess. Tell me you've heard of the name before, right? She always shows up in a beautiful sports car, but it always gets so dirty when she has to drive out here. She always dresses so well, you'd think she'd try to get her car washed more often, little beefsteak. You would think. Welcome home, Danny. How may I be of assistance? Would you like to save? That's right. Request process. Please enter the house. Ooh-woo. Are you done already? I will save and quit. Thing, I suppose I ought to save your town data for the memory cord and slutty. Thank you for waiting. I hope we see you again soon. Perhaps.